Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm back again, and um, I have actually some new makeup, and we're going to be doing some swatching, and so it's going to be, excuse me for adjusting right now, but it's going to be a longer video, so uh, you might want to get a snack. I'm going to go over really quickly what I have on. And the Super Goop by Glow Oil on uh, the Skin Silk in the F2. Um, I do have the NYX Bling Butter Gloss on. So that's what I have on there. Uh, the Rare Beauty, I did go ahead and use, um, let's see, I think I used Truth here. Yeah. Yeah. So I have uh, Truth on there. And then I do have the Buttermilk Bronzer on in Buttercup. So this way that this one is looking, that's what I have on there. Do you have a, on a little bit of the Unusual Beauty uh, from Timu? This is a highlighting palette, so I have a little bit of this on as far as highlighter right now. I could actually do a little bit more here. So I really am liking this shade quite a lot. It's this one over here in the corner, and it's definitely a duochrome. It has some gold, orange, and I think red in there. So yeah, I'm liking it as a highlighter. Um, some of the other ones tend to go a little bit too pearly, a little bit too white, but some of these are really nice. So uh, as far as what I have on the eyes, I have the Dream Gaze by Alter Ego on, and I did go ahead and put this in the outer corner. This is the eyeliner. I used these two on the lid. And um, used some of this on the inner corner. And then a little bit of these two colors right in the very middle to make it pop a little bit. Give it a little bit of a different, different kind of look to it. And like I said, I got it in the Loxy and it's... L-O-O-X-I. They have a website. They're based here in the U.S. Um, I had actually got my Z palettes from AOA. Uh, Z palette, well, yeah. Um, so it says AOA on the Z palette on this one. And AOA you can get on the Ms. A website for tools as far as makeup tools and that kind of thing. Um, I find a lot of times that they're really overpriced, especially when you get into like eyelash curlers and stuff like that. And Z palettes. So what I did was I went ahead and bought mine from, um, like I said, AOA, which is the makeup company on the Miss A website that's all the dollar makeup. And the Z palettes actually ended up being um, $7 instead of, you know, the $1.55 to $1.88, which is what dollar makeup is now these days, but uh, still I'm finding them to be a much better uh, option as far as price rather than going to, like, I think I saw some at Ulta Z palettes that were running $17, $20, and it's just like, uh, no thanks, I'll pay 7 and wait for it to ship to me. So with this one, uh, these ones are JD Glow. This one is Salt New York as far as uh, actual foundation. And then these ones are Sydney Grace. But all of these over here are um, over in these corners. These are all going to be the Loxy. Um, I don't think that Loxy has gone ahead and done any um, eyeshadow palettes that I know of. This one is called Oh Bother. And this is where we're starting here. So that's Oh Bother. And if, like I said, this is going to be a long video, it's not going to be the most exciting video. This one is called Jelly Bean. And I know that I got a couple of repeats because there were a couple of shades that I just managed to knock over, spill, destroy, and whatever. So this is actually Santa Monica, this color right here. So that's Santa Monica. And yes, I am I'm not doing single swatches. If it looks like it needs more more, I'm gonna add some more into it, okay? 
Look at it. Oh, pretty. Very pigmented. This one is glitzerin. And then this one is going to be caterpillar. And if you're hearing the other noise going on, uh, there's all sorts of stuff going on today. And so I'm dealing with all sorts of stuff going on today by filming. So again, I apologize, um, but this is sort of, it's only going to happen this one day. There doing some stuff so um, fuzzy flamingo is this one so these are all uh, pretty much duochromes and they all of their auroras are considered duochromes and they had been having a big sale red hot Red Hot is one of the colors that I've had before, and it has red, gold, brown, and it's really pretty bronzy color. And I managed to go ahead and spill this one on the ground and totally broke it into a million pieces. So um, this one is Glass Wing, so that's what this one is. So, so far we've had all sorts of, yeah, pinky and orangey colors here, a couple of bronzes. So this one is actually going to be Dragon Slayer. This was one of the ones that I was really excited about. It's definitely a green duochrome. So that's Dragon Slayer. And with Loxy, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen that they've had any palettes um, that they do all single shadows and their single shadows usually run about four dollars but they do a lot of sales so you can get them on sale for two fifty or three dollars a piece okay that's a pretty one too and this one is actually called Nightfall and then uh, this one is Painted Lady, and it's purple. Yeah, it's definitely in purple. I thought it might be a periwinkle, but no, that's a true purple. And then this last one, and then we're all done with this first palette that was about halfway full. Uh, this is a liquid, and so... That's, yeah, that's a pretty color too. So there are all the colors out of this first palette. And like I said, everything over here was from Loxy. Everything over on this side of the palette is going to be J.D. Glow and Sydney Grace. So, and then the Salt New York Foundation. But that's what I have on there. And then, um, again, to go ahead and see those. Let's go ahead and we'll do this other palette and see what I got as far as the shades here. So we're going to go ahead and start with Big Bang, which is the shade right here. So there's Big Bang. Actually, let's do a little bit more on that one. So yeah, that's shade right there. Then, let's see, this one is going to be Licorice Lace. And again, I apologize for the noise. I don't usually have that going on, but it's kind of uh, decided to do this video and my way of dealing with all the extra noise today. So this one is actually called chocolate cherry and I know some of these are like these are some of their their shades that they're known for because I know I've heard people talk about chocolate cherry shade before and then this one is going to be razzle dazzle I 
as of the hassle. Now I'm squatching sideways, and I'll probably have to clean off my arm here in a second. But that's okay. Okay, let's go up to this one. So this one is called Shimmy. And um, this is a shade that I actually thought I had before. And the shade that I actually had was Margarita. And I thought it was Shimmy. And this is the way that Shimmy looks. So it's the way that Shimmy is. Gonna have it in swatching. And let's see. Clean off a little bit here. Clean off, I'll free. Okay, let's see. This one is called Groovy Baby. Ah! It's just like to run away. That's Groovy Baby. And this one is called Wild Shot or Wild Child. That's that one. And actually that's coming off with a lot of red and pink and it actually didn't look that way in the pan. Okay. This one. It's actually screwball. Yeah, that's what it is. Screwball. Go screwball. Oh, that turned out. That's showing up really well. Okay, so um, let's go to this one, which is November Rain. And uh, this one actually is one of the ones that I had. Um, yeah, November Rain is one that I've had for a little while. Um, let's see about this one. This one is actually Burnt Toast, which is this color. So Burnt Toast right there. This is a wonderful shade. This is called the Monarch. And it's red, brown, and purple. And it's just beautiful shade. I'm not kind of showing up. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, let's see if I can get to this one. White Sands. Again, this is actually one that I managed to spill on the ground a couple of times, but it didn't break, which was really nice. Because I red hot, I just, I would say I just like sort of bumped it and nah, I, I knocked it over. Yep, I knocked it over. I don't think you can see that swatch. Yeah, white sands just isn't going to show up here. So, let's see what else we have here. I've gone through all the new ones, um, and so these are all the shades that I got from uh, Loxy. And like I said, I just feel really fortunate to find them. Uh, with the Loxy shades, most of what I purchased are the Auroras, which are going to be the duochromes and multichromes. And with those, um, I find that if you put them on a base, you can put them on a white eyeshadow cream base. You can put them on a black eyeshadow cream base. You can put them over uh, colors, like um, if you have any cream eyeshadow colors, you can put them over those uh, different colors. I have, do I have that one here? Um, let me go and grab that one. I'll be right back. Okay, so back again. I was talking about the Loxy eyeshadow formula, um, how they have multi crowns, auroras, and if you put them over a base, uh, you could do a white cream eyeshadow base, black cream eyeshadow base, even putting them on top of a 
concealer. Um, it helps to make them pop. If you do have some cream eyeshadows, and these are the Color Case by M -M -M Mitchell. So it's by Mitchell, and uh, these are going to be cream eyeshadows, and you can put these down and then put the Loxy shadows on top of them. It'll make them pop a lot more. And um, let's see, the Color Case, uh, the Made by Mitchell, you can get over at um, Beauty Bay. And Beauty Bay is based in the UK. Um, if you have single cream shadows, you know, you can use one, then put those over the top. Again, by putting those over the top of a regular shadow, it just makes them kind of pop more. And um, what we've been looking at has been my new haul that I got from Loxy. And again, it's L-O-O-X-I. Oh, it's not Loxy, it's Luxy. Luxy. And so here's one of my C palettes, and everything from about here over is all new. And these are all shades that I've had before. And then, like I was showing um, everyone, all of these uh, these three bigger pans over here are JD Glow. These are Sydney Grace. That's the Salt New York Foundation. But all these little pans over here are all my new Luxie shadows. And maybe we can go ahead and put one like right here in the middle. Kind of beef up this look a little bit. So, yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, they tend to be very sparkly, very shimmery, very duochrome, very multi-chromed, and um, very pretty. Um, like I said, I just went ahead and swatched the new ones that I got, and these are the swatches. So these are the kind of new shadows that I'm going to be using as toppers, and that's usually what I go ahead and use them as uh, when I want to get something just to pop a little bit more than it's doing and I'm so glad that they had this sale and I'm so glad that I got these and so um, yeah can't wait to start playing with them so I'll see you later and have a great day